So this is John Fisher, 1997, U.S. Open. John is like, like a, is a big part of my career because this guy had literally beaten me so many times. I mean, so many. I don't know. I can't remember how many times. I started wrestling him when I was in high school and I would go and compete in the U.S. Open. Then he was beating me when I was in college. When you, you know, when you're losing to a guy and you're in high school, you're like, well, you know, I think in the back of my mind, I was still young. I was competing at a high level, but I'm like, I'm going to get better every year. This guy's getting older every year. Then I get to college. Now I'm training with better people. And I'm like, yeah, John Fisher's not beating me anymore. Sure enough, I go and wrestle this dude again, and he just puts it on. And John would always get me in the end. Like, I, was, I had an aggressive style. I would go at him, and John actually forced my style to change. He forced me to be able to shift gears is what he, he, he made me a better wrestler. I mean, he made me a better wrestler because he had beaten me so many times. It was my junior year in college, and I made up my mind I was gonna do something that, that went against everything that I believed in, and that was stall. I, I wasn't beating him. I had wrestled so many times, I wasn't beating him by going at him and trying to attack, and then what would happen is I would. Eventually, I would start to fatigue a little bit. And then this guy would get me. He had long arms, he was fast, and then he would catch me, and he would get me, and then the match would be wide open in his favor. I know I can, I can fatigue him. I'll let him shoot himself out. He's got to feel good. He's beaten me I don't know how many times. And, and it worked, and it worked. And then it's the 1996 Olympic trials. And I'm beating John Fisher. And now I'm like moving that mode. Yeah, man, you have beaten me so many times. I'm kind of like, I'm going to put it on you. And I go from a single leg, and he sprawls kind of on his feet, and I go up to a body lock, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to throw you. I remember thinking that, but I didn't throw people. I don't even know why. I'm winning like, I'm winning handedly, uh, uh, pretty confidently in, in the finals in the mini tournament to set myself up for the Olympic trial final. And I go to throw him, and I land on my back, and I just quit. I, I literally, I just, I hit my back, and I quit because I was like, are you kidding me? That's what I'm saying mentally. I'm like, I'm saying to myself, why did I go upstairs? Why did I try to throw the guy? I do not throw. I can't believe I'm on my back. And before I know it, I'm pinned. And John Fisher goes on and wrestles Tom Brands in the uh, Olympic Trials Finals in 96. And man, I'm out. I'm out again. And I, I John Fisher again. So here we are, 97. I'm, I just won an NCAA tournament. I'm ready to move on with my career. I'm done with collegiate wrestling. I'm ready to focus on international wrestling. And now I got John Fisher. This guy wrestled John Smith. He was the runner up to John Smith multiple years and, you know, really pushed John Smith in the 1992 Olympic trial. And then Tom Brands comes in. And John had beaten Tom Brands a bunch of times, and then John, and then Tom Brands makes a run. And then here comes Kerry Colat, who John Fisher has beaten multiple times. And, and John's like loved and favored him because I think everybody's like, this, it's, it's time for this guy to have his, his due. And when John would go overseas, he would beat people up. And so it's time for John to be the guy. And then here I come and he's beaten me many times, but you know, I'm ready to be the guy at this time. Now John's fired up. I will say this: he didn't he didn't usually start like this heavy against me. Like it was it was the opposite. He I was coming at him. So I think there's some things that, for him happening. I think he's like, this is my year. I'm gonna be on the world team and I'm gonna represent the United States because I had never wrestled him where he came at me this much. For me, I'm just filling it out. Hands are in front, staying in front of him. You know, feeling the level changes. Um, that's that's really what's happening right now. This is a. I, I knew I had to win by fatigue is what I had to do. And um, with him wrestling at, at such a high pace early, I knew this could help me. You know, later in the match. John Fisher never won it. Now this is the day of reputation. If you're the guy, you're gonna. This is the day of passivity. Where if they called you for passivity. Your opponent had the choice to put you up, up or down, and I automatically knew I was going to get put down. We all did. Like, so, you know, John had a good gut, but my defense was starting to develop. This is the day of the one-point escape. So if you earned an escape point, you got it. So I'm up 1-0, and John is still coming forward. He's, he's coming forward pretty hard.
One thing you kind of pick up on, and it, it's slight if you really love it, but most of the time I let, he, he makes contact first and I make contact second. And I want it that way. Like when I reach, I'm reaching with my hands inside so I don't give up a shot. This match changed me for poise. Like I, I got really, I developed really good poise from this bout. Calm confidence, like knowing where I'm at. Scores 1-0, not freaking out. Like I started to make some gains here. Passive. Not uncommon. Puts me down. He's got a good gut. And he's going to catch me. Here. When I stood up and I captured his leg here, it just came to me. I literally said to myself, I think I can front flip here and score. And then I instinctively just elevated with my back leg. Two points now. Oh, this is never, this is a scramble. This isn't a position where we say, get to. It just, it just happened. Um, and that's where it comes from, like reps in the room. The more you wrestle in the room, the more you get in scrambles, the more you instinctively kind of just come up with stuff. And now I'm just trapping him here. Uh, picture here is the more trouble than collapse. And no more points. I, I didn't have a strategy going in here. The strategy just kind of developed. Over John you know, John's beat me a bunch, but I, I knew I was going to win this match. I, I didn't feel like I was going to make any mistakes. Mentally, everything was just in sync for me. Fisher respects that shot of And I know I'm going to get pass get a passivity call again. I'm going to go down, and, and I started feeling really good in my defense here, too. So he's got me down three times. He's looking for a high gut wrench here. Now he's sliding it down to the waist. Now it's a low gut wrench. Got a good grip. There's two different defenses for each of those blocks. He's got one knee on the side of Colas. This was key for me, learning how to bring my left leg up and block with my elbow. I started doing that around this time and just became the place where I went on bottom. It was like my place to recover. Kept him low. I had to keep him low. I had to keep him low. Because if he got back to high gut, he turned you. He had a really good high gut. Now, he, here he is, but I would come up to my knees. A lot of time on top. 20 seconds to go in the match. Fisher needs a point to tie. 16 seconds all on the line here. Oh, oh. oh and that's going to do it. Kovac is going to win this. He'll hold this to here. You know, I'm, I don't really celebrate this match because I, I'm like, we still have the trials. It's John Fisher. I need, I need to get another win over him to make sure I'm just kind of, I got I to gotta finally put this nail in the coffin of this guy who's kind of plagued me for a while. I had a really good U.S. Open and um, was ready to start being the guy on the team. Yeah, John definitely evolved my style. He allowed me to stall. Like, he was a guy that like broke down a wall that, uh, and that wall was holding me back. As a coach, I want aggressive wrestling. Everybody loves aggressive wrestling. We're wired that way. But you also want, I always say like, the bull in the china shop. The, the analogy is don't be a bull in a china shop because <laughs> it's destructive. And I always say, I want the bull in the china shop that doesn't break any china. Like, can be quick, explosive, and aggressive, but somehow knows his body where it's at and stuff. So you want to be smart, you know. I want you want to be smart. So he he made me a smarter wrestler. John Fisher like helped my career over time become a smarter wrestler because he really was a big hurdle. He beat me so many times. I was being stubborn, and I wasn't making adjustments. And that particular match, I didn't have like really any strategy. It just kind of fell into place. It was similar to like when I finally beat him in Sunkiss years earlier, but. It just kind of fell into place and I, I became smarter after that.